I get this shit breaking on pop the kill. When nothing if I put the bitch kill, she went nothing if I put the bitch kill. Fall like the weather, I change the world. Get a nigga knocked off, bitch, you cost a feather. Brick on my real nigga, no one built. I see, bitch, on that shit. Bitch, look at it. Hey, it's too late for that. Hey, sick of it. Sick of it. Hide some help. Get rid of it. I'm not with the rah rah. that wasn't working you know or go to therapy I'm like that that didn't help nothing, nothing was helping and I finally got on the right medications or whatever that I actually feel better about life like it's not it's not as bad as it was before so I haven't really been on Facebook because I hadn't felt like it I was just like down so with the new medicine and stuff that I'm taking, I actually feel a lot better. Like I actually want to do things and, and you know, and I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was before. So I encourage people that if you, you know, having a hard time to, um, you know, just try to stick it out. Like, Hey, just try to stick it out because eventually you'll get the proper help that you need and things will be a lot better because I mean I know it's kind of hard to say that and be, people be like you know that's not going to work because it didn't work for me and it only started getting a little better just recently I've been going through depression since since March like March I've been feeling like this so it just now got better after so long and you know, I just want, I just encourage people to, to, um, just stick it out. Like people told me, just stick it out and eventually, you know, things will get better. If you got to take medication, make sure that you try. Cause people give me, they was giving me medication and I was just like, this, this stuff not going to work. Like, I don't want to keep taking medication just to be taking pills. And I just felt like I didn't want to take pills. I, that's just how, you know, I thought. Thank you, Lisa. Hey. Hey, Miss Virenus. Love you, too. 
So, you know, I was just like, the medication that I was taking, I thought it wasn't going to do anything. But um, after trial and error, it finally worked. And um, I'm feeling a lot better than before. I mean, I still don't like my job. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the, I don't think the, the bipolar has anything to do with this job. I'm back in, like, customer service again, doing inbound doing outbound calls and now I don't really like outbound calls but um so I'm looking into doing something else because being my bipolar cost me my job like I was feeling bad that I quit my job like I had a government job I was making good money but the depression part of my bipolar just took over it it took over my life and it was horrible Hold on real quick, let's see. Let's see what Hey. Hey, what's up, Vanna? Hey, how you doing? You been Vanna Vanna? <laughs> What you doing? driving. What you doing? Driving. Okay, what you doing? You said what? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, where am I going? To go pick up the kids. Okay. Yeah, how you been? I ain't seen you in a minute. I was just talking about that. I was just talking about that on Facebook and why people haven't seen me. Wow, what, what's wrong? You went into a, a spell or something? Yeah, my, my bipolar took me. It took over me. It took over my life. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I've, been, I've been depressed for like months now. And finally, I got the right medication and everything. I feel better. You say, what, what, who, what? <laughs> I said, I said that I was I've been depressed for like months now. And uh I finally got the right medication. So I'm doing a lot better. So what you depressed about? It's just a part of being bipolar. I wasn't really depressed about anything. Like it was nothing happened that I was depressed. It's just it's just something I was going through. What's up, Shayna? Oh, okay. You good? You good now? Yeah, I'm better. I'm All right. Right. So now I'm going to come down there and see you because I don't want you to stab me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't good, okay. baby. Bipolar kick in. LaQuasia! Hey, LaQuasia! Yeah, uh, yeah, I just I saw you on live. I said, man, let me tap in the, uh, let me tap in the uh, uh, live. I ain't been on your live in a minute, girl. What's I know. I don't want to be on live. How your husband doing? How he doing? He good. He work late hours all the time. Uh, he, he stay in Atlanta now? Yeah, he here. Uh, he here. That's what's up. Tell him I said what's up. Yeah, you ain't figure out where you moving to yet? No. Man, but I, I'm going to Houston next month, though. You know, I already got my flight. What's in Houston? Uh, um, I'm going to find out when I get there. And you just going to Houston for no reason? No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to Houston because it's an event going on, and I'm going to it. So, But in the same time, I'm going to go, you know, meet some people, you know, some Facebook friends, and just, you know, see where Houston is, man. Because I said I wanted to move to Houston, but I'm not for sure, for sure. So this would be an opportunity for me to spend, like, four, five days in Houston and uh, just try to get the feel. Because, you know, I don't really like excessive-ass heat. And, you know, Chicago got the climate change. You know, uh, oh, yeah. Lucretia is used to it. Lucretia is used to it. Oh, look. Yeah, Chicago friend, got the... Kevin, Chicago got the... Say he was, she was in Houston. Yeah, I know. That's Lucretia. I'm Lucretia. Hey, 
Hey, Monique, they go Monique King. Oh, hey, I got my booze on mine. Hey, look. So look. Uh, uh, and so you know, I'm thinking about moving to Houston, right? But then I keep thinking about the damn hurricanes and, 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 and you know the, the climate and you know the, the humidity and I'm not, you know Chicago. We got we get four seasons. You know we get uh, winter, spring, summer, fall. You know. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, man. Okay. I just keep thinking about that hot good. ass Y'all winners win not good. Y'all winners not good, but maybe I was thinking about maybe I go south for the winter. Maybe I go somewhere for the winter and just stay and just, you know, come back. Yeah. Dallas is hot too. I visited. I visited Dallas in uh in uh, December last year. Dallas was cool, you know. I went to an event there. I think I went to a Christmas party. It was a Christmas party. I think it was a Christmas party, and they wanted me to come back. They, you know, yeah, you know, they got an event going on in Houston. So I like fuck it. I'm gonna go and plan my trip for Houston. I missed the one in April, but I'm gonna make the one this year. You know, it's a barbecue. You know, a lot of my Facebook friends and stuff. A lot of people like the. They just got, they want to see me. And I like, I turn up. When I go out, you know, I turn up. Then, you know, I've been working in the gym. And, you know, I wasn't like this when I was in December. And I did all this building my mask, masculinity, <laughs> and uh, made to now. So in September, I'm going to be cutting the beard down. So you won't be seeing the beard before I make my move to, uh, you know, my visit to uh, Houston. Anything's still possible, man. When I make my visit to Houston, I'm, I'm cutting the, the, the beard down. So, so you're going to go visit some, some people from Facebook out in Houston? Yeah. You know, I ain't got, I, my brother said we got family there, but that ain't where I'm going. I'm going to just have fun. I've never been to Houston. Yeah, I've been like one time. I ain't really doing anything. Yeah, you know, but I'm looking to do something. I just, I just, I just never been to Houston, so I was like, you know, I got a bucket list. You know, I've been to Dallas. I've no, I've never been in Houston. You know, I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a, I ain't gonna cut it off. I'm just gonna cut it down to my face. So I can look like, uh, no, 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 but, uh, yeah, and you know, and so then, you know, I got a plan to go to Miami. I got a plan to go to New York. You know, and I just know people everywhere, you know, but it's just like, Oh no! When it comes to like moving and all that old stuff, man, that's that's a, like I ain't saying it's, it's a, a big step or any step, but I just think about the weather. It's hot. Woo. You know, my beard to be down to the flow. Shit, oh, damn heat. You know, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to coming, man. I got my flight this uh, Sunday. I book my flight, and I'm thinking about you know getting a rental. I don't really know how no hospitality is now. You know, you get some red motherfuckers like that. So, you know, so I might grab your rental, you know, book the OTR, that shit, and uh, just see how it goes, man. I just, I'm just looking to just have fun in my next chapter. This is just part of me, just, you know, traveling, doing it. And I'm coming back to Atlanta, too. I'm coming I'm with you in Atlanta. And my daughter down in Atlanta. You know, she, Oh yeah. Hey, you did yeah. say that. Yeah. How old your daughter? She uh twenty six. One of my daughters, she's twenty six. The oldest is twenty nine. My son twenty two. My other twenty one. You know, they all doing their own little thing. They spit from each other. Move here, they are uh, the kids. And all that. So it's like I'm kid free. So it's like I gotta, I gotta see what I'm gonna do. By September and uh, make a transition if that's what I'm gonna do. If not, I just stay I just stay around Illinois and just travel, you know, work and just travel, you know, until I find somebody that I wanna be with forever, because we gonna turn up. Fuck that. I'm tired of these boring ass women. Boring ass relationships, boring ass fuck buddies. <laughs> I got too much. I got too much energy, so my fuck gotta be able to master my energy. I 
It's a lot of people can't, uh, you know, match my energy, so I gotta like find somebody to do. Is it it's so hot then? Huh? Is it still hot then? Yeah, it's still hot. I ain't even taking temperature for the day. But yeah, I gotta find somebody that could deal with my fan base, cause you know women they could they they portray they like me, but they jealous of all the other women. I ain't got no. My heart is where it's gonna be. My fan base is what it's gonna be too. So I know how to separate the two. They just don't get it. You know, I don't wanna just make it seem like I'm gonna fuck all these women on the internet now. It's, you know, no, nah, it's like that. It's, it's not that. Yeah, so I well, if you find a girl that's that's off of your Facebook, then she'll probably be like, she should understand, I guess, since that's how y'all met. Oh, shit. And you said if I meet one off Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, and you know, that's the problem. You know, you meet women off Facebook, and then, you know, they want to take you from Facebook, and I'm not looking for nobody to take them anywhere because I'm not lost. I know exactly where I'm at. <laughs> if she ain't got no confidence in her, she really ain't going for me. She better get on this live with me and say good morning or something. That's where the heart at. Hold on one second. Let me get this lady in here because I'm still working. Uh, that's all over with now. Let's get you home. Let me tell my friend goodbye. Hey, look, I'm going to hit you back. Uh, Vanna, you know I love you for life, girl. You know you my buddy. So your husband, I said, what's up? Hope you got a shit to get shit together. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll holler at y'all later, man. All right. All right, back to work. Yeah.